happy third Sunday of Lent. We are so used to see Jesus Christ as meek, humble, quiet, gentle, mabait. I'm not saying he's not. He is. He is. But this Sunday's Gospel offers us a new perspective and gives us a beautiful character of the Lord. Jesus is so angry. Why was he angry? Because he came to the temple, I know, to pray. Because he came to the temple to honor the Father. Because he came to the temple to see the many people who would want to get close to God. And that's something beautiful to look forward to. But then when he reached the temple, he saw something different that made him angry. Businessmen left and right, merchants left and right, and everything else, money changers. And they say that they are working for the temple to help people so that they can offer something to the temple. But in reality, it's purely business. And in fact, they are making it hard for people to go to the temple, for people to make their own offering to the temple. Why? Because they're adding so much burden. You could just imagine, you want to offer something to the temple and so you brought your own lamb. Of course, you already pick something that is so pure, no defilement, because you are to offer it to the Lord. But you know that you are to carry and sometimes that lamb has to also walk on its own. And when it reached the temple, it may not be in the same condition as you pick them from the farm. And there is a quality control. And somebody will tell you, you cannot offer what, what you have because it's impure, it's with blemish, it's dirty. And look, it's so exhausted. God wouldn't want that. But then the, the, those who are working in the temple would say, but there is a way. We have here pure, undefiled, clean, the one that will acceptable by God. And so you ought to buy it from us. But the money changers, the temple would only accept temple money. And therefore you need to convert your money so that you can get a temple money. But that the exchange is so unfair. And sometimes it really disvalued your money. These people are making it so hard for them to get close to God. And that's what made Jesus angry. They have made the house of the Father a den of thieves, a den of impurities, a den of injustices. That's why Jesus is so angry. We say that Jesus did not commit any sin. Yes. But sometimes you say, Father, bless me, I have sinned. And what are your sins? I got angry. But to tell you, there is a valid anger. An anger by which you will not commit any sin. Just like our Lord Jesus Christ. At that moment, that is the right attitude to show. Anger. Because Jesus is angry with the injustices done. When your anger, what the root of your anger is because of an injustice, then you ought to be angry. If you didn't get angry, you are indifferent. That is a sin. That is a sin. Therefore, what Jesus is telling us is that if there are reasons to be angry, you should get angry. Especially when you know, when something bad is done in front of you or you have seen an injustice. Because when you show that, then you are expressing your love for justice, your love for equality, your love for goodness, your love for whatever it is that God loves. Yeah. The second point for this Sunday's gospel is reverence. Reverence to God and reverence to God's house. Every Sunday we go to Mass. 
And how are we? How is our decorum? What is our attitude when we are in front of the Mass? You know, before the, the Mass celebrated in a parish, nauso na yung mga CCTV. And I could see people as they wait for the Mass. And sad to say, some of them are also playing games while waiting for the Mass. Some of them are watching Netflix inside the church while waiting for the Mass. Some of them are doing Facebook, watching Twitter. Is that the right attitude when we are in the church? We have to dispose ourselves so that when we celebrate the Eucharist, we know what we are doing and that where we are, it is a sacred place. It is the house of God. It is not an ordinary place. The moment I enter church, I should recognize where Jesus is and should show my reverence by kneeling or by bowing down before I even go to my seat. And when I'm inside the church, I should feel the presence of God. And therefore, I am in His house. I have to be at my best. Because in front of me is the throne of God. In front of me is God. Reverence for the sacred place. Reverence for the church. That is why inside the church, we have to give our best. Honoring this place is honoring God. And thirdly, the challenge for us to be genuine when we are in the church. To be genuine means to be who we truly are, children of God. And as such, in this place, I give my thanksgiving. In this place, I show my love. In this place, I talk to God and God talks to me. In the liturgy, in the word being proclaimed, in the priest I see, in the congregation gathered, God is talking to me. That's why when I am in the church, I consider it my home and I will love and take good care of the church, the temple of God, the temple of God's children. This Sunday challenge all of us to give reverence to God and especially never forget where we are. We are in the house of God. 